so much for joining us. Uh, first, I hope that uh, people are treating you well in my hometown. And by the way, for really good Cuban food, stay away from South Beach. Go to Hialeah or Little Havana. You got that? I'll take note of that. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I got to ask you straight up, what, what's the mood at the conference this year, given that Bitcoin has, well, just tanked so badly? Yeah. Well, I think the mood here is, first of all, it's a smaller conference than it was a year ago. But yeah. I think the mood here is simply this. Most of the conversation is less about coins and what the markets are doing, because the, the, the real believers in this space don't necessarily put stock in what the price is doing today or tomorrow. And instead, they're talking about the technology, the blockchain technology behind it, and what's actually powering cryptocurrency, rather than just being focused on the market prices, which is where most media usually talks about it. You know, people are telling me that I don't look at this the right way. They, they, they say that I should look at uh, cryptocurrency less as a um, opportunity for some type of uh, advancement for making more money. And instead, I should look at it as a, a future currency tool, that that's the way that we're supposed to look at this, right? Explain that to me. Yep, yep. Okay, so, so a lot of the people who got involved in crypto, who had been outside of it, they didn't know anything about it. Then last year, late last year, um, they, or in 2017 rather, uh, they heard Bitcoin's doing so well, buy some Bitcoin now. And what they were really trying to do, Rick, is they're trying to flip money, right? It was buy it at this price today and then it's gonna be much higher tomorrow and I'll make a ton of cash on it. And of course that all crashed and, and all the price has gone down. But the people who are advising you are right. Um, only partially, though. They're right that you have to look at it as the future of currency and the future of money. It's money without borders. It's currency not controlled by any government. Mm. So there's a, an incredible power to it in that respect. But the other part of it is the blockchain technology that powers Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is a representation of the blockchain in the financial sector. But blockchain has applications in healthcare, in media, across across the board. It has applications in so many places. And that's the other really powerful thing about crypto that, that keeps it from disappearing, keeps it from dying, keeps it from going away. That technology is transforming the world. Is it that we just haven't mastered it yet? If it's there, and if it's as wonderful as you and so many others say it is, why hasn't it blossomed properly yet? Well, part of it's adoption, right? So if you look at what's happening behind the scenes, um, JP Morgan, right? Jamie Dimon, the, the CEO there, hates Bitcoin, supposedly. Yeah. And yet JP Morgan is buying up blockchain technology. <laughs> uh, Bank of America now has 45 uh, blockchain patents that they own.